All right, guys, welcome. Uh, my name is Julius Gilger, and I'm excited to share with you guys uh, what I've been doing for virtual sales that have made it very simple to generate sales and help more families. This last week, in just two days, I decided to test out virtual sales because I realized that virtual sales is the future of our business. It's the future of the industry. It's the future of how we help families in all areas of the country, right? And so I'm gonna share with you what I have done to help these families, right? I'm nothing special. I'm learning just like the rest of the, the, the company. And so I'm gonna share with you what's been working for me and how you can simply duplicate this in your business. And if there are days that you can't go out in the field, there's something holding you back and you wanna do virtual sales, or maybe you just wanna be 100% virtual. Whatever it is, this is your business. You can operate it any way you want. Um, and, and that's completely up to you. But I want to share with you what, what's working for me, what's working for our team, what's working for our agency. Um, so that way you guys can go out there, implement it today, make more money, help more families, um, and, and, and really just you know blast your business forward. So with that being said, said, guys, the first thing I want to talk about is when you go virtual, there really isn't a big difference. Okay. What do I mean by that? What I do in the home today is exactly what I've been doing virtually with the clients that I helped this week. Okay. So my word tracks are very similar. I tweaked a few things, which I'll share with you. Um, but it all starts with the setup. Okay. So what do I mean by the setup? So first off, when you're booking an appointment, you're going to tell your clients that it's going to be a virtual appointment. And when you're booking it, you're going to say, okay, would you prefer to do phone or zoom? Okay. Some people are not very tech savvy. So if you try to force Zoom on them, they may have a tough time, right? They may have a tough time getting on Zoom. They may not have it downloaded. They, whatever the case may be. And a lot of times, guys, we're, we're, we're working with seniors, right? And when you're working with seniors, they're just not very tech savvy. And that's okay, right? So you want to give them the option, see what they're comfortable with, but you're leading them just like anything else, right? Like when we book an appointment, what do we say? Okay, does two or five work better for you, Bob and Mary? and they pick one. This is no different. Would, would you prefer Zoom or a phone call? And they pick one. That way you're leading with what they're comfortable with, okay? Now, most of my virtual sales have been over the phone because that's what my clients were comfortable with, but um, I've also done Zoom and you know that was fine too. So the first is the setup, right? So you, when you're booking the appointment, you gotta make sure you're adding that in to your phone script, okay? So would you like to do this over the phone or would you like to do this um, over Zoom. Now, once they pick it, um, I'm sending them a text message, letting them know, just confirming the appointment. Now, the day of the appointment, I'm sending them a message. Now, I've been sending them a message about 15 to 20 minutes before the appointment. Um, I've also spoken with some people that have been doing virtual sales, and they usually will send a message. <clears throat> Excuse me. They will send a message earlier in the day, like the beginning of the day, just to remind their clients of the time of their appointment. But I'm gonna share with you the text message so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, okay? Hang on one sec, you guys. So let me pull this up. So this is the text message that I'm sharing with clients. Hey, Claudia, this is Julius Gilger, just confirming our phone appointment. Expect a call in a few minutes from this number and I include my number. I'm an Arizona state licensed agent. You can look up my license number and I list my license number on this website. And that website is the national insurance producer website where they can look it up. And then I send a copy of my badge, okay? So why am I doing that? I'm doing that because the goal of our appointments and how we operate in this business is always to increase credibility and decrease sales pressure. So if I send them this message ahead of time, A, they have my license number, B, they can look it up online if they you know, are suspect or just, you know, some people are just very skeptical and that's okay, but now they can look it up and it's, it's not just hearsay, it's okay, I verified that this guy's legit. They see my badge and they can put a face to a name. So whether it's Zoom or over the phone, now I've just increased my credibility because I've shared that with them. Now, I'll tell you, most of the clients have not looked me up. They don't care to, but I'm doing it anyway, okay? 
So now when I call them, they're not surprised because they already know that the phone call is supposed to come from my phone number. So then when I, when I call them, I say, hey, it's Julius. Um, you know, I'm the field underwriter for your, uh, for your mortgage protection appointment, right? So I was doing mortgage protection today. So, hey, my, this is Julius. Um, I'm the field underwriter for your mortgage protection appointment. They said, oh yeah, okay, great. And, it, and then what I do is I'll confirm the information again, just, just to be extra credible, if you will. And so I'll pull up the lead card and I'll say, hey, Mary, let me just confirm your address. I have 123 Main Street, right? Um, looks like you have your, uh, you put down your 48, you're a non-smoker, correct? Okay, great. So I'll do that right in the beginning, right? Just reminding them that I'm following up with them about what they requested, right? So that's, that's bringing it to the forefront. So that's the beginning of the call right away. That's, that's the first thing that I'm doing. Then, you know, typically in the home guys, what I've been doing is I ask questions for, so I'll go to the table typically in the home and I'll say, okay, why did you request this? I've, I've changed it a little bit virtually just to make it a little bit smoother. And so what do I mean by that? So I say, all right, um, Bob and Mary, you know, the reason uh, we're here today is because you sent in a request for mortgage protection. Now, let me explain what I'm going to do today and what, what we're going to do. Um, that way, you know what to expect, right? And so what I'm doing is I'm just setting the table just like I would in the home, but I'm doing it over the phone, right? Or on Zoom, it, it, no difference, right? I'm, I'm I'm saying similar word tracks, I'm just making slight tweaks. So now, instead of asking the why up front, I'm setting the table first, just to give them an expectation of what to expect right away, because we're not face to face. So I just want them to know that I'm a professional, I'm credible, I know what I'm doing, and they can trust me. That's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gain their trust right off the bat. And a lot of it guys is how you say it, right? If you have confidence in your voice, you know what you're doing and you're not shaking, you're not stumbling, they're going to follow along. A lot of people do business on the phone and Zoom every day. Life insurance, uh, not only life insurance, car insurance. Um, I mean, just you, you can buy anything over the phone nowadays or um, online, right? And so, and, and by the way, guys, there's tons of companies nationwide all, all across the industry that are selling over the phone or over Zoom. So, you know, we're just adopting this, right? And so that's all that boils down to. So it's not like this is anything new to the industry. It's just we're adopting it. And it's a matter of us perfecting it for ourselves. Okay. So what I'm going to say is when I set the table, I say, all right, Bob and Mary, so today, what you can expect and what we're going to do is um, my job as a field underwriter is to determine what you might be eligible for. Okay. Now, Bob and Mary, this is not something you can purchase. This is something you have to qualify for, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just ask you some simple questions to figure out what you might be eligible for. Um, I'm gonna ask you some medical questions and I'm gonna ask you some financial questions. Once I understand what you're eligible for, I'll explain the programs and then I'm gonna show you a few options. Now, once we find the best option for your mortgage protection and your family's needs, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and submit an application for coverage with the company that best suits your needs. And the reason why is I don't make any of these decisions, Bob and Mary, okay? Um, the company does. And so all these programs, they're non-medical, no, no blood work needed, no urine, no needles, no nurses, nothing like that, okay? So we'll submit an application for coverage. The company will determine if they'll approve you within about a week or so. Um, sometime sooner, if they approve you, great, you're covered. If for some reason they don't, then, then we'll meet again and we'll look at another option. Okay. And, and I'll, I'll say, does that make sense? Make sure that they're following me. They say, yes. Okay. Now, Bob and Mary, before we begin, I want to let you also know that I am a broker. And what that means to you is I work with a bunch of different companies, over 15 different companies, all of them being a rated all of them being in business for a very long time, companies that have great brand recognition that you probably know, companies like Mutual of Omaha, Americo, John Hancock, AIG, and they go, the list goes on and on. And so my job is to figure out what you're eligible for and, and find the best company that fits your needs. Does that make sense? They say yes. And then I'll say, all right, any questions before we begin? And they'll, they'll say, no, we're ready. 
Now I'm going to pause there. Now, why am I doing that? Right? Because let's face it, guys, clients, well, you guys can't see that. Oh, it's my, all right, there you go. Clients can't see this sheet if they're on the phone. They can, you can show it to them on Zoom, but if they're on the phone, they can't. And so what I'm trying to do is have them understand that this is not a Julius thing. This is not a, this has nothing to do with me, right? This has everything to do with them and the company that they may be approved with, but also think about your credibility. If you name these companies and they know these companies, now your credibility goes up even that much more because they're like, okay, I'm going to be placed with a reputable company. Okay. So that's why I do that there. Okay. Guys, if you guys are getting value out of this, drop a 100 in the chat if this is making sense and this, this is helpful. Okay, so all that there, guys, that's the setup. Okay, that's the setup. And so what, I'm do what I've done is now I've told them what I'm doing. I'm told them who I represent. I told them what they're going to do and then what they should expect today. Okay. I've had no one even balk at it. They're like, okay, great, great. Awesome. Now, once I've done that, now I'm going into my financial inventory. Okay. Just like you would in a home, no difference. So, so, but the first question that I'm going to ask is, okay, when you fill this out, Bob and Mary, who are you looking to protect? Who are you looking to leave the home to? I'm trying to draw the emotion out after I've set the table. Oh, I want to protect my daughter, Claudia, or, oh, I want to protect my kids or whatever the answer is. Okay, great. So if something had happened to you, what does that look like for them? Can they stay in the home? Are they able to afford that? No, they can't. They're, you know, they're 21, 18 and 11 or whatever. I want to make sure if something happened to me, they can, you know, they have a home to live in. Okay, great. All right. So that's why I'm here today, right? That's why we're meeting is we want to make sure we're protecting the kids. Yes. Okay. So now what I've done is I've brought their need to the forefront, right? So I'm not jumping in until I know the need. And so that's what I'm doing. I, I know the need. Okay. We're protecting the kids. Got it. All right. Everything we're going to talk about today, Bob and Mary is to protect your kids. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So let's get started. And then I go through the financial inventory. All right. Age, smoking. What do you do for work? How much is your mortgage? Um, what's your monthly payment? Uh, what's the value of your home? Then I calculate the equity, the difference between the value of their home and their mortgage. Okay, great. You have, you know, a hundred thousand in equity. Awesome. Then I go and I'll say, okay, uh, about how much do you make per month after tax? You're trying to figure out their cash flow. They'll tell me, you know, whatever it is, 5,000, et cetera. Okay, great. Now let's at, let's talk about medical. Are you taking any medications currently? They'll tell me what they're taking or if they're not taking any medication or whether, whether they are taking medications or not, you also want to ask, okay, are there any medications that you used to take that you're no longer taking? That's a key one because it might come up in their MIB report, even though they're not taking it anymore. Um, so it's key to ask that as well. Then I'll ask, okay, great. Have you had any surgeries or hospitalizations in the last five or so years? They'll tell me that. I'll go through, all right, any major medical conditions, heart attack, stroke, cancer, diabetes, neuropathy, blood pressure, kidney, liver disease, um, anxiety, depression, thyroid, asthma, COPD. They'll, they'll tell me that. Now I got their full breakdown. Okay, great. Do you have any life insurance currently? No, I don't. Okay, got it. Do you have anything that would um, offset the cost of your mortgage if you pass? Any 401ks, IRAs? That's the money question. Oh, yeah, I got a 401k. We got about 100k in there. Okay, great. We're not going to talk about um, advanced market sales today, but that's, that's an opportunity for an advanced market sale. And now I've completed the entire financial inventory, right? And so once I complete the financial inventory, I'm repeating to them what I have heard and or what I see, right? All right, so Bob and Mary, keep me honest here. Based on what I'm seeing here, looks like you're bringing in, you know, 4,000 a month. Um, you guys have no coverage currently. You have this new mortgage. Um, and if something happened to you, you know, your kids would be uh, financially burdened with the mortgage. They probably wouldn't be able to stay in the house and they probably lose it 
um, or, or have to give it up and, you know, th that'd be really difficult for them. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I understand why I'm here today. It, it all makes sense now. So let's talk about what we can do to protect your kids. So that way that never happens. Okay. Okay, great. So now what have I done? I've, A, I started with the need. I went through the, the questions, medical and financial. Now I understand the full picture. I brought the need back up and now they understand we, I shouldn't say they, we all understand and I've made sure we're on the same page of what we're looking at before I start showing them options, right? Because the last thing I want them to forget is why we're here. So I'm bringing it back up, okay? So then um, I do that. Now with virtual, I do things a little bit different, right? So in the home, I typically would show them a few different options in terms of product, meaning, um, I might explain to them term, I might explain to them term and cash back, I might explain to them an IUL, et cetera, et cetera, right? But when you're in person, it's a lot easier because you can write things out, you can talk to them, you can, th there's more visual elements to it than when you're over the phone or Zoom, right? And so what I've done on virtual is I've just, I'm looking at their situation and I'm finding the best option for them based on what I see and hear. So, a lot of my sales this week have been um, with America, which a lot of my sales are anyway, but um, I'm looking at either term or term with cash back based on their age, right? So if they're in their 30s, 20s, um, maybe early 40s, I'm looking at term with cash back with America. Why? Because um, A, it's typically affordable, but then B, it's a win-win-win situation for the client. They pass, they have a benefit, they have living benefits if God forbid they get sick or ill or any of that stuff. Um, and if nothing happens, they get all their money back 100% cash back, right? And clients love that. If they're a little bit older, maybe late 40s, early 50s or in their 60s, now I'm gonna look at a, a just a straight term, okay? To cover their mortgage or um, you know, if it's a whole uh, a final expense appointment, I'll talk about that here in a minute or just a general insurance um, lead. We'll talk about that too. but. Um, so under 45 ish, um, term with cash back. Now, if they're tight financially, I might not do cash back. I might just do a straight term just to keep the premium down. Okay. Cause my goal is to always show them something affordable. If they're over 45, I'm going to look at two options. I'm going to either look at a regular term with America. So the term 125, or I'm going to possibly look at John Hancock's term, John Hancock Vitality. And the reason I'm looking at these companies, guys, is their e-app is very simplistic. So that way, when a client needs to sign, it's very easy to conduct business, right? If you start looking at all these other applications with these different companies, some are a little bit more complex. And um, when it's more complex for the client, it makes it harder to do business. One of the things people love is making it simple to do business. The easier it is for people to do business with you, the more business they're, they're gonna do with you, all right? Keep that in mind. The, the more simple it is to do business, the more business you're gonna do, okay? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to generate, uh, I, I, let me take that back. I'm trying to keep it simple for them to, to help them through the process. So, so those are the things I'm looking at there. And then when I look at a whole life product, um, cause obviously we're running, you know, different types of leads, not just mortgage protection, internet leads, final expense leads, et cetera. I'm typically, I'm typically looking at America Eagle number one, and then Aetna's Ascendo number two. Why? Because both of those are very simple from an e-app email signing perspective as well. Okay. Um, so, so those are the, the, the products that I'm looking at now. Does that mean that's a one size fits all? No right? Because they may not be eligible for some of those products. So you, you're going to have to pivot and look based on your client situation. But if you can fit them, if they're possibly eligible for those plans, you want to try to choose those plans because it's going to be easier for your clients. Okay. And like I said, if it's easier for your clients, it's easier for them to do business, they're going to do business and they're going to move forward. Now, in terms of options, I've been showing two options rather than three. Okay, why? Because simplicity. If I can just keep it very simple, it's gonna be easier for them to make a decision. So for what I've been doing on mortgage protection, as I say, okay, great. Now we're gonna show you two options. The first one will cover your full mortgage. So if God forbid you pass away, Mary, 
this will pay off your entire mortgage. Your kids will be able to stay in the home um, and they'll be able to live mortgage free. Okay. And then I walk them through the option. It has this much death benefit, this much living benefit, this much cash back, et cetera. Here's your monthly premium. Or we can look at covering 50% of the mortgage. Now it won't pay off the mortgage, Mary, but it's going to give your family at least enough to cover half the mortgage. Now you may be thinking, well, it's not paying it off. So what do we do? Well, it gives your family a few different options. One, they can put half of it down on the mortgage, refinance and make the mortgage more affordable. Or two, they can just use that money, pay the mortgage for a period of time. Maybe they decide that the house is more than they can afford. Maybe they sell the house, take the equity, take that coupled with the death benefit and buy a home that's more affordable for them. But at least they now have options. And not only do they have options, you're now not leaving a financial burden on your family, but also you're giving them time to figure out what their decision is going to be best for them at that point in time. Does that make sense? And then here's your monthly premium. And they say yes. And then I close with, okay, now I don't know if I can get you approved because it's not up to me. It's up to the company. But if we could, which of these um, is best fit for your mortgage protection to protect your family? And I just wait. And then they pick one. They pick 50%. Okay, great. All right. Sounds good. Let's see if we can get you approved and protect your family. Go ahead and grab a driver's license and a voided check. And we'll see if we can get you approved. They go get it. And then they, and I say, all right, let me know when you're ready. They come back, they're ready. I say, okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to help you fill out an application. There's going to be a few places where you're going to need to sign. I'm going to email it to you. Do you have access to your email? Yes. Okay, perfect. Boom. Start filling it out. Walk them through it. Like it's no big deal. Literally no, no big deal. And I don't, I don't put any emphasis on the check, the ID. Like I make it like it's just another day, right? Just another appointment, just another, it, it's, don't put any emphasis on it. Don't, don't be weird about it. Just, it's just business. Okay. How do you want to take care of this? Right. And when you do that and you have the confidence and you, the other thing I would say is when my tone on the phone is very just chill, like I'm not getting worked up. I'm not getting excited. Like I, I almost pretend like I don't care, um, but obviously I do care, right? I, I care deeply, but my, my goal is to just make it sound like it's just another day. It's just another appointment. It's just another family I'm helping. And so whether they decide to move forward or they don't, it literally bears no impact on me. Yes, we make some money, but I'm there for them. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay. Drop a thumbs up in the chat if that makes sense and that's helpful. All right. So, so then I'm filling out the app. I email them the app and um, they sign it on their phone and, and then I submit the app and that's, that's really all it is. And so I share this with you for a few things. Number one, I, there's really not a whole lot different than I'm doing, like I mentioned. Right. It's literally the same type of appointment, the same type of strategy, the same type of logistics, the same, almost the same word tracks too, that I've been doing in the home. It's just, I, I'm being a little bit more patient. I'm being a little bit, I, I'm going a little slower just to make sure that they're um, following along and I'm not rushing over anything um, because I'm not sitting in front of them. Right. And I'm using my voice to guide them versus, you know, visual or, or tactile things that they can actually hold and touch while I'm sitting in front of them. So, so that's really what it, what it takes to do virtual guys. It, it's, it's not rocket science. It's actually very simple. Um, and so what's the key to all this? The key to all this is number one, you got to have your word tracks down. You got to understand how to do this, right? And if you've been selling in the home, you can definitely sell virtually. Um, will you need some more leads than you do in person than you normally have for in person? Yeah, probably. Right. I I'm just getting started on it, but this is what I've been doing and it's working. Um, but it, it's, a, it's no different. It's a numbers game. It's doing the same job that you're doing over the phone or over zoom. And, um, you know, your goal is the same thing. You don't want to sound like you're, you're, there's any sales pressure. You don't want to sound like um, uh, you just want to sound like you're credible and you know what you're doing. 
There is one other thing I, 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 I have been saying that I forgot to mention. So early on in the appointment, when I'm setting the table, I also say this, I say, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this early on, but I say, hey, just so you know, Bob and Mary, I've been licensed for a little bit over four years. I've helped thousands of families over that period of time. And I manage an agency of over 100 licensed agents nationwide. And we help thousands of families every single month. And so uh, today, my job is to help you guys, right? So what does that mean? That, that, that helps them understand that this is something that I'm used to doing. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing, right? So that's a, another thing that I added in there that I, I haven't actually been saying in the home, which quite honestly, when I go back in the home and, and do that, I'll be adding that in too, just because it gives more credibility, right? Um, and so there has been one instance where a client was hesitant and maybe skeptical to give me their payment information. So what did I do? I want to share that with you because you're probably going to run across that at some point, right? Not everyone is just willingly going to give you their information, right? So number one, I didn't, um, I didn't change my tone. I didn't change my approach. Um, literally what I did is uh, first, it, it, there's a process to all this guys, right? And what do I mean by a process is how are you communicating with the person on the phone? So they hear you, understand you, and, and you know that you hear and understand them and you can acknowledge their concern, right? So first things first, you acknowledge them. Hey, I hear you, I understand. Um, I can assure you I'm a licensed agent um, with the state of Arizona um, and I totally get where you're coming from. Here's what I'm gonna do, Bob. Um, check your phone. I just sent you a text message. I sent you my driver's license as well. I want you to realize that I'm a real human being. I live here in Arizona, um, not that far from you, but the reason why we're doing this virtually right now is because we're in the midst of a global pandemic and we're trying to keep you safe as well as myself, right? And so I've sent you my ID. You also have all the information you can look, at, look me up on. Um, so you can always, you can always find me there. Um, so I can, you know, uh, so any questions about that? And they'll say, oh, okay. He said, all right, uh, no problem. I'll, let me go ahead and send it. And, and then he gave me all his information. And so that, you know, that's what I did to overcome that is I just, I wanted to increase my credibility again. I wanted him to know that I'm a tr like a trustworthy individual. I'm not there to scam them. Um, and I'm there to actually help them. So it's just, you know, another layer. Did I have to do that? No, but it helped get him over the hurdle. So he knew that he made the right decision. Okay. So that's what I do, guys. I hope that helps. Um, guys, at the end of the day, this is all very doable. It's all very practical. It's just a matter of execution. It's a matter of practice. It's a matter of understanding, meeting your clients where they're at and, and helping them from there. So I hope to see you guys on the leaderboard, whether you do field sales, virtual sales, it's all possible here at Family First Life. This is the best business ever and you guys can do it too.